From the Kings for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Gaining momentum as we reach the halfway point. Tonight, another chance to put the league on notice. They are on the move. Kings, Thunder, and back in a moment for the tip-off. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. We've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's out there with Josh Giddy. Lou Dort out there with Holmgren. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four. And for Sacramento, the backcourt pair will be Fox with Herder. Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. And it's Barnes in at the small forward spot. And there has, Greg, been some talk within the league about adding a midseason tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for, but love now. I can see why they're considering it. Now, here's Fox. Against the Lakers, he was really on his game. Here's Herter. Traps in the tray. Great pass from Murray. I like whenever he looks to get his guys involved. 
Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Inside, Sabonis, and slam dunk by Sabonis. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more, you're right. Over in the corner, Dort hands it from downtown. Next step kind of action there from Shea as he's able to find the open teammate. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. And Holmgren pulls it down. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Dort passes to Holmgren. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And looking to get stronger, Holmgren fights through the bump. Tons of time for him to grow into that frame. Barnes bounce pass. Herter, no good. The Thunder have gone two or three here to start out the game. Makusevsky, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. To the paint, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Oh, nice job there from Holgram. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. A shot by Sabonis, nobody around, and he can't stop the run as he misses. The Thunder have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by Barnes. Now here's Herter. Guarded closer. Basket counts. Herter's got his second basket of the night. So composed right there on that possession. Herter a pro at handling the defense and then keeping his focus. Holmgren. Nice D from Sabonis. Here's Sacramento now. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. And SGA up there getting that flush to go. I mean, OKC's draft pick haul in the Paul George trade was massive. But the best part of that deal is getting SGA. Now, SGA has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons, and his game just continues to grow. He signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block, or is he going to develop into a player that people covet, and they're going to try to pluck away? We'll see. He had to fade back on that one, but still got it to go. Well, he's capable of making you pay there. Gilgis Alexander in a nice rhythm. Fox passes to Sabonis. Back to Herter. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. And in talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. Now Fox. After Lou Dort's three-pointer that didn't go. And stolen by Giddy. And stolen by Barnes. Left side Zabonis. And it's blocked. Long 7-1 with that 7-6 wingspan. Holmgren can alter a block just about every shot in his vicinity. Now here's Dort. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Pass to Herter. Back to Fox. Sacramento moving it around. And here's Barnes for three. Again, the miss by the Kings. The Thunder with the lead. And it's Giddy in the corner. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And Giddy thinks he's out there playing Australian rules football with that kind of play. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Oklahoma City? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Yeah. 
This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia, and that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. They're getting their first look at the Thunder in this one. Yeah, and they lost the season series to this squad last time around. Maybe a little extra motivation tonight to show they've improved. And let's review some numbers for Fox. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And he's a guy who would rather pass the ball off than take a bad shot. Completely unselfish. Unbelievable. I love the way he plays. Now, here's Fox. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They could use a bucket. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Dort against Fox. Fires from 14. Dort misses. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Now, here's Dort. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Driving inside. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. A unique type of player. Chet with great length and skill. But the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Hey, Greg Holmgren is thin, but as we both know, he's very tough. He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Fox. And good that time. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And continuing to press their advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gas. Fox finds Herter. Murray right side. His first shot coming late. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, what a summer for Keegan Murray. The fourth overall pick in Preston Summer League. Looks to be just the type of player the Kings needed. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game. Two shots. And he makes the first. Like many scouts felt, Murray was the most NBA-ready of all the draft prospects last year. He understands what he does well and plays to that. He can control the pace. It's hard for defenders to speed him up, and he gives you versatility at both ends.
And so Murray nails both of them. Going forward, the Thunder have a ton of draft capital for them to put a lot of first round picks either to play for themselves or in play to make some significant trades. Lots of flexibility there. Now, here's Fox. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And slam dunk by Sabonis. That's a pretty easy opportunity for a teammate, all courtesy of Harrison Barnes. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. And Oklahoma City with all those picks, Brent, should be interesting to see how they use them. Yeah, and that process has already started in the 22 draft. They used some of that capital to line up some players they have on their current roster. So it's really interesting at some point what it is that the front office does to say this is our team and this is who we're moving forward with. Here's Fox. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. Barnes looking around. Lock at six. Three-pointer. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Pretty reliable from that area on the floor. Harrison Barnes comfortable rising up and shooting from there. Oklahoma City moving it around. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Over in the corner, Dort. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Barnes kicks to Herter. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. And now just a two-point Thunder lead. Outside, Dort. There's the pass to Pakusevsky. Bounce pass from Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Dort. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. On offense, here are the Kings. They've gone on a 10-2 run. Not allowed much. Sinks the three-pointer. Herder never shy to let that one go. Just enough room on the catch and shoot. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They trail by one. Holmgren. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Sacramento's gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. Back to Herter. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Sacramento. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. And let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Free throw good. Herder. And the Kings look a whole lot different now than they did for most of the 21-22 season. And they were changes that had to be made. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great. Scoring is coming in bunches. And both of the teams feeling confident right now. And Herter gets it to go. Now when a team suffers a playoff drought like the Kings have, Greg, you can expect some major moves. And you just hope they can find some stability, Kevin, moving forward. This is a team that's gone through 12 head coaches since the last time they made the playoff. The Kings leading. Fox passes to Sabonis. Here's Herter. Off target from three-point range. And stolen by Murray. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gilgis Alexander. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. One thirty-nine left to play in the first quarter. Barnes finds Fox. What's 
And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Lyles checked in for Sacramento. The Thunder shooting quite well in these early minutes, 55%. Pass to Pakusevsky. 121 left in the first quarter of the game. Yeah, that's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. And not usually what we see from him. Three turnovers already in the game. And the Thunder making a switch here. Joe's checked in. Now, here's Fox. No points in the game yet for him. No one covering. And the Kings lead by five. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Pass to Holmgren. To the middle. It's deflected. It's stolen by Lyles. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Murray. He's covered closely, and he drops in the way up off the glass. And now a seven-point Sacramento lead. Almost impossible to guard Murray inside in college. We'll see if that translates to the NBA. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Here's Pakusevsky, and it's tonight. Now here's Herter. He's guarded closer. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And so it's the Sacramento Kings heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've been watching for the Kings, guys. Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Last game out, he had 40 points. So for Oklahoma City right now, They've got Holmgren. Lou Dort out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two-guard spot. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Sacramento. Well, trying to figure out ways to score through contact, De'Aaron Fox does not back down. Passes it to Pakusevsky to the right side. Shot clock at six. Holmgren wide open. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. On the pass to Lyles. Back to Fox. Pass to Lyles. Lets it go from deep. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Dort's got five rebounds tonight. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. The Kings have made a lot of moves to shake up their roster. De'Aaron Fox says, I think the mood is definitely better. It's like a breath of fresh air. Getting a feel for each other and seeing the chemistry come to fruition is huge. Success isn't always immediate with trades and signings, so we look toward the future. Kevin, back to you. That's all they can do. Okay, thanks, DA. Goes up to the stripe. Dort misses. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now here's Murray. Oh, that's blocked. 
And Poku really outsmarting the opposition that time defensively in the right spot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they? Brent Durant and Harden and Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin. Going to that finals in 2012, I mean, obviously really young and green at that time. But unfortunately, Harden was traded away that oh, summer. They break. took a hard take line a stance and Two shots. You know, he was off to Houston and just think back would they have won titles together and how many and the first one drops in decades past teams that led the league in threes if they shot that same right now would rank Greg dead last in the NBA so with that thought which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes and that's a good one Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? Man, they could knock down the triple. Now you could tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Nobody near Barnes. No good on the three. Thunder trailing by eight. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. How about Dort just rising up and getting to the rim? The Kings have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Alex Len. Josh Giddy's checked in for Oklahoma City. Here's Fox. He's got five. Barnes left side and that one's good his second basket of four shooting 50 percent attacking is one thing but body control another and Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play count that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down to just six points with the basket from Gilgis Alexander that was the 2k drive as that move deserved another look and no quit just keep playing the right way stay aggressive and try to battle back now here's Murray his last outing, 16 points for him. Over in the corner, Barnes. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And the Kings making a change here. Madu's checked in. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Giddy the pass to Pokrusevsky. No good on the triple. Sacramento leading by six. Holmes with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Holmgren with it. Guarded now by Barnes. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Headshot off. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the second of four games at home for them. And that's a relentless effort from Dort. Just a great physical defender. Now here's Giddy. He's defended by Herter. Giddy, no good. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Fox from outside. Again, the miss by the Kings. Thunder trailing by six. Right side, Dort. Five on the clock. Fires the three. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Harrison Barnes picks one up. Talking about defensive specialists. How about the hustle Lou Dort shows on D? Well, this is a guy you throw out there and you say, sick him. Go guard the best player on the other team. And that's something that he takes that challenge on. Takes a lot of pride on the defensive end. And has become a very important part of this team. Three shots. Three shots.
And he hits the first of three. It's fascinating to watch Dort evolve his game. He's raised his free throw percentage to 84% last year. And for the first time in his career, he shot over 40% from the field. Zabonis, he's checked in for Metu. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Robinson Earls checked in for Poe Kuszewski. He hits the second from the line. So what would you say is next for Dort in his development? You know, Kevin, I'd like to see him get to the line more often. He has room to grow as a playmaker. Uh, of course, locking down the consistency from range. But he has the work ethic to make all of that happen. And he makes all three. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Here's Fox. Makes good on the step back jumper. Fox has got seven. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And they pick up two. Oh, good defense. Holmgren just too tall, and boy, is he skilled. Fox kicks to Sabonis. Over to the wing. Now Holmes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Steps back and fires. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. Thunder trailing by three. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. Shoots over Herter. And that one goes long. Sacramento's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Let's it go from 11. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Already impressing at a young age. Kevin Herter's dead-eye accuracy from deep combined with being a fearless competitor going inside. That's going to pay some dividends throughout his career. And he knocks down the first one. I know one thing the Kings wanted to focus on this season, and Brent, that was defense. Well, they're a team that's been at the bottom of the league on the defensive ratings for quite some time. And one way to remain competitive is to bring your defensive intensity on a nightly basis. It's going to be a point of emphasis for this new coaching staff to get these guys on board. And Herder drops them both. And this Thunder team in desperate need of a veteran. Someone on their way out that can still be productive and provide some leadership for the young guys. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. They've led by as much as 10. Sacramento again missing. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Sabonis. And that one hits back iron. So now, how does Oklahoma City, Greg, get back into the mix in the Western Conference? Kevin, yeah, it's going to be tough. Just so much inexperience on the roster right now. Keeping the core here, yeah, but experienced players to fill out that roster. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. Down low, here's Holmes, and it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Nice job, SGA, coming in and using that long, athletic wingspan. And it's sent back by Sabonis! Now here's Herter. Gilgis Alexander covering. Herter, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. Guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. Passes to Barnes. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. Oklahoma City moving it around. Sacramento grabs the miss. 
Sabonis has got seven rebounds in the game. And stolen by Giddy. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Robinson Earl. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. Robinson Earl's got his first points in this one. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And when you talk about Jeremiah Robinson Earl, a burly power forward who plays with confidence. Plays with confidence, G, and also plays within himself. And I think that's the key. This is a guy who moves the ball well. He's smart and will make good decisions. He's expanding his shot to be a more consistent three-point shooter. So he's a connector in a lot of ways. Sacramento making a switch here. Monks checked in. Fox passes to Sabonis. That's a two from Barnes. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Barnes has got four this quarter. Yeah, Sabonis a very capable passer, so if he sees a ready shooter, that guy's going to get it. To the left wing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. From 17 feet out, jump shot is good that time. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. You just don't see guys with Gilgis Alexander's size and frame all that often. He can be a special player in this league. And it's Barnes shutting it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Another shot. It's deflected. The pass to Robinson Earl. And stolen by Barnes. Now, here's Monk. Defended by Dort. Puts it up from 12. The shot by Monk is no good. Thunder trailing by three. And here is Holmgren. His last outing, 16 points for him. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over in the corner, Dort. Six to shoot. Over Monk. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Kings leading now by three. Outside, Fox. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Sabonis has got three assists now in this one. The Thunder shooting for the game at 42%. Pass to Robinson Earl. To the inside, Gilgis Alexander. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Pass to Herter. Fires from deep. Dort grabs the miss. Dort's got six rebounds here tonight. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. Inside, Giddy has to count on some creativity and some agility. Hard for him to muscle through the defense. Monk kicks to Sabonis. And the layup's good off the glass. Timeout, timeout. Sabonis has got ten points. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City. And in a league full of shooters, Malik Monk is right there with the best of them. And has always been a weapon from outside. Has refined his shot selection the last few years and starting to come into his own as a reliable outside threat. Sacramento making some changes. Trey Lyles checked in for Harrison Barnes. Davis is subbed in for Kevin Herter. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Williams is checked in. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. There's a quiet confidence that Monk seems to play with. You can see he just feels like nobody can guard him. Kid just plays with an edge. He misses the free throw. 
Over the last few seasons, the Kings have been near the bottom of the defensive rating. And GA, that is a problem. Yeah, I think they've tried to address that a little in the draft, taking Davion Mitchell back in 21. But it's been a consistent issue in Sacramento. And the Thunder making a change here. Joe's checked in. Good on the second free throw. You know, one thing, Greg, the Thunder have done a great job of drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past, a few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just finding guys all over the world. The Kings leading. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Fox. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. And every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander learning this offensive system and learning it well. Up top, Fox. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Fox has got 11 points in the quarter. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's Sacramento up two. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. It was a fast pace for Sacramento at the outset. Their lead at one point was up to seven, and they had some real nice momentum going. At the end of the first quarter, they were out in front by seven. In the second period, they lost some momentum, but fought their way through it, ending the half ahead by two. What do you think about Sacramento, Kenny? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. Well, their strategy to pound inside has worked well so far. I wouldn't get away from it if I was drawing up the second half plan. Uh, keep working into the posts, and you got to win that physical battle. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. Monk is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Davis in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Pakusevsky with the bucket. Pakusevsky's got the first points of the second half up on the board for the Thunder. Passes it to Monk. Sabonis, no good. And for the Thunder, they're shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Joe, good. And Poku with the processing speed just got rid of that one quick. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. A two-point game. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks a lot, guys. Josh Giddy has been attracting admirers, including LeBron James. The King said he's really, really good. He has a great pace about the game. Great vision. Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game a lot quicker than most guys out on the floor, and he's showing it. Just been playing beautiful basketball. Kevin, that's high praise. It is both amazing passers. David, thank you. Deep two for Murray, and they're able to recover. They need this. Akusevsky grabs the miss. Hakusevsky's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Misses the three. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy. Three of four to start it off. Here's Monk. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. 
And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Mitchell, he's checked in for Sacramento. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Williams is checked in. Fox passes to Davis. It's blocked. Here's Pakusevsky, rejected by Murray. And that length and timing make Keegan and a terrific shot blocker. Second chance shot. Joe passes to Pakusevsky. Play on the clock. Here's Dort. And at last, they get one to fall. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Sabonis. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Sabonis has got 12. That's a nice stroke from the mid-range, just pure coming out of the left-hander's hand. Here's Dort. Rebound by the Kings. On the wing, Mitchell. Defended by Dort. The kick out to Sabonis. For three, Mitchell. No good on the shot. And the Thunder going the other way now. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh. Attack minded all the way. Yeah, great read. Calls his own number and then sends it home. Timeout called by the Kings. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. And the Kings making a change here. Dozier's checked in. And it's the Kings with the ball. They trail by seven. Murray, the pass to Sabonis. The pass to Fox. For the three, trains the three-pointer. 14 points for him. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot, become more consistent. Nice bucket there. Pass to Mann. And a wide-open look for Gilgis Alexander. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Dozier. Lock at six. He kicks it to Mitchell. Another three for Sacramento. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Reigns. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Pakusevsky with the bucket. They are just killing them on the interior. So it's Sacramento. Six-point game. Fox looking it over. Murray outside. From deep. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Well, wanting to do whatever is good for the team on any given possession. That time Dort playing unselfishly. Sabonis. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, the father of DeMontis Sabonis, Arvidas, named to the NBA 75 All-European team. Arvidas, 7-3 and just so skilled. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And Greg, what was it like playing with the 7-3 Arvidas uh, when you were in the NBA together? Kevin, we, we had a couple years together in Portland, and I'll tell you what, he was an incredible passer 
really made me a better cutter because he was the first guy I played with that could make all the passes no matter where he was on the floor. And he's good on the second. And prior to playing in college, Sabonis played professionally in Spain. Well, that's such a head scratcher to me. I mean, 16 years old. I mean, here you'd be getting your license. There, Sabonis was playing in professional leagues against grown men. So that experience certainly has helped him both in college and for sure being a pro now. Here's Mitchell. That's tipped. Nice rejection from Giddy. Williams passes to Giddy. Outside, Dort. Nice D from Sabonis. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Outside, Fox. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, Sabonis just cleaning the board, taking care of business. That's just too easy if you're the defense. Oklahoma City moving it around. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. And that kind of sums up how this game is going. Uh-huh, attack-minded all the way. Yeah, great read, calls his own number, and then sends it home. And here's Mitchell from the arc. They get the rebound. Sabonis with the bucket. The defense had the right idea, just the wrong execution. Sabonis, too powerful to be cut off. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And they call an illegal screen here. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Barnes is checked in for his shot hole. Then for the Thunder, Holmgren comes in for Williams. And Wiggins is subbed in for Dort. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Kenrich Williams, he's checked in for Wiggins. The Thunder leading by five. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Sacramento making a switch here. Herders checked in. Akusevsky, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Mitchell. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 26. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Herter kicks to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Yep, it goes, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Sabonis. And that's Sabonis just really sticking with his shot. Holmgren the pass to Pakusevsky. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Pakusevsky. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Uh, he can be just lethal from the perimeter. Even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter, will that make right there? That could change things. And here's Barnes for three. The Thunder pull it in. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Puts it up from 12. It's rebounded by Giddy. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Mitchell kicks to Barnes. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his third assist on the night. Here's Holmgren, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, I mean, take that. Holmgren 
he knows defenses want to rough him up a little bit, and he welcomes the challenge. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Thunder. Credit them for not settling. I mean, they've been in attack mode off the dribble all game long, and thus far, it's paying off. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down, they've done it. And that one misses. And something to like about Holmgren is his ability to run the floor. A seven-footer who can get up the court in a hurry and get to the rim before the D gets set. Here's Williams. Giddy, no one around him. Off target from outside. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Outside for Murray. Hits it from three-point range. Murray's got seven points. And you like Murray as a spot-up shooter. Knows where to park himself and always ready to receive the pass. Giddy, no good. The Kings trail by six to the middle. Puts it up from seven. Murray, no good. Oklahoma City has gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. And Giddy gets it to go. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Joe, covered by Mitchell, and stolen by Murray. And there's a minute 45 left in the third. That's a two from Barnes. He trains the turnaround jump shot. Barnes has got five points now in the quarter. You've got to have a player you can trust if you're going to call a number that involves a pick and roll. And Harrison Barnes making a good decision there. Joe. Sacramento grabs the miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Lyles checked in for Sabonis. Robinson Earls checked in for the Thunder. One oh three left in the third quarter. Here's Williams. And he uses the glass on the layup. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Now the pass to Barnes. In the corner. Herter with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot on the wing. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. Robinson Earl's got six rebounds now in the game. Oh, that's offensive interference. The Kings trail by eight. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Barnes outside. Murray outside. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Holmgren. From outside off the mark. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Oklahoma City Thunder. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. Back to the action in just a minute. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. The Kings trail by eight. 
and Oklahoma City. Looking who they've got to start the fourth quarter. We've got Williams. Holmgren is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Robinson Earl in at the four slot. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Puts the fade away right on the money. Oklahoma City shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Pass to man from outside the arc. He's off on that one. And the Kings going the other way now. Herter on the wing. It's tipped. Pass to Robinson Earl. Now here's Giddy. Defense right on him. Just five to shoot. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Man can hit. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Kings. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. You've got to keep the ball moving, and that time, Herter's pass leads to an open look. Passes it to Mann. Back to Giddy. Over in the corner, Williams. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Well, overall, he has played basically flawless basketball, but uh, that was a bad turnover. The Kings trail by four. Barnes outside, driving to the basket. And it's Barnes slamming it down. Yeah, that's up there. Harrison Barnes with momentum rises up, and that's a highlight. The pass to Robinson Earl. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Williams in the post, covered by Barnes. A shot by Williams, no good. For Sacramento, they've gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. That's their third straight make off an assist. Oklahoma City has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Now a key member of that 73-win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Barnes. In almost the forgotten part of the famed death lineup, it was Barnes, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 championship team as well. Fox, he's checked in for the Kings. Dort, he's checked in for the Thunder. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys, during the last break, here's what Mark Dagnall was telling his team. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. All right, thank you, David. Here's Murray to take the lead it doesn't go for him now Oklahoma City takes it the other way man passes to Dort for Murray and again Oklahoma City no good on offense here are the Kings they've got an 8 nothing run now here's Herder Pass to Murray. Shot clock at five. It's blocked. Shoots. Man gets the bucket. And the Thunder lead by two. And great intensity here. 
down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Well, take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket Shot's anyway, good. so a three-point play chance for him. Shot's good. What a play good. there. The shooting hoop one. plus the harm. And the Kings making a change here. Holmes checked in. And it's Fox with the ball for the Kings. Elbow shot is on the way. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Dort. Williams passes to Giddy. And that one, good. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He's doing everything he can to put this game to bed. And great score there to help his team. Here's Fox. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got five assists in the game. Pass to Giddy. Oklahoma City moving it around. It's Dort on the wing, and it's blocked. How about that? That's a big boost defensively if Herder can get in there and block shots and intimidate in some way. Over to the left wing. The wide open look here for Fox. Another miss by Fox. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Holmgren. They get it back. Williams gets the bucket. And the Thunder lead by seven. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Mitchell wide open. The three-pointer off the mark. Oklahoma City has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Herter kicks to Fox. Five to shoot. Again, the miss by the Kings. Oklahoma City leading by seven. Holmgren the pass to Williams. Intercepted. Now here's Herter. Giddy defending. And Herter gets it to go. And everything working right now for Kevin Herter on the offensive end. Pass to Holmgren. Dort with the ball. And they're on the break. Here's Herter. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And you talk about clutch plays. I mean, defensively and offensively. And we saw it right there. Here's Giddy, and the layup is good. Giddy's got four points now in the quarter. Now getting assertive and getting inside. Fox kicks to Holmes. Back to Fox. Barnes outside. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got assist number five here tonight. And in that first half, guys, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes as they have here in the second, trying to use that shot to stay in the game. Giddy the pass to Williams. Offline with his three. The Kings trail by three. Mitchell outside to tie it up. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Well, you concern yourself with the other guys who you think are going to damage you, and he stepped up and delivered that huge three-point shot. Man passes to Giddy. 
Williams kicks to Giddy. Just five on the clock. Over Mitchell. And again, it's Oklahoma City. And he's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Herder passes to Holt. And here is Mitchell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Holmgren. Even before his regular season debut, Brent, Davion Mitchell was grabbing attention. Well, Davion was named the Co-2021 Summer League MVP, an honor that recognized his promise, but also a showing and signs of what he was going to do when he got into the NBA, and that was wreak havoc defensively on guards who don't like a lot of pressure. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for Mitchell. Sabonis, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Mitchell drops them both. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Fox. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Such a big part of Gilgis Alexander's growth. When he hits hard shots like that, it makes him feel like he can score just about anywhere. Down low, Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. The Thunder have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. And there's the pass to Giddy. All alone. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with Fox. Herder very comfortable taking that big shot. Oklahoma City trailer. Gilgis Alexander looking around. Now here's Giddy. D right on him. Out of bounds. Sacramento takes possession. Murray's checked in for the Kings. Sacramento's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Good on the bucket. Now it's a four-point Sacramento lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Thunder shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. That's the Dort. Inside. Lock it two. There's the three. Buries the long range jumper. Lugans, Dort, give it to him. King shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. Fox kicks to Sabonis. Back to Fox. Pass to Sabonis. King's moving the ball around. Here's Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. Harrison Barnes has been in some big ones, and that's a big shot. Thunder trailing by three. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Fox. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Over in the corner, Barnes. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Barnes has got nine points in the quarter. Harrison Barnes very comfortable in that catch and shoot. The Thunder shooting at 42% in this final quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. It's Dort on the wing. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. In the corner, Herter with it. And it's off from three-point range. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And they go to the intentional foul. Yes. 
44 seconds left in the game. Murray, good. And NBA ready as a rookie. Murray can do damage from deep. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're down by nine. 40 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Harrison Barnes. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. Coming into this game, he had been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Fox. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.